Billy Buckington has always been a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. And he's always done bad things. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but he's never done anything as bad as this. I've never seen this my own face on a video screen. What's going on? What is going on here, Billy? You're wasting my time. You're the one wasting time. I woke up today knowing I would die. This gun's not gonna scare you. They don't scare you people. 
that's gonna scare you. This rips off your finger. Now why am I seeing myself on a video screen? Ah! Ah! Please, please, I'll tell you! What is it? Let's hear it. The video holds many secrets. The video doesn't concern me. What concerns me is the timeline of the video. How did we go back in time, Billy? God dang it. Three years ago, I met a man in San Juan. This man led me down the dark river and showed me the truth. Time is not what you think it is. Speaking about traveling, back in time, present, wherever, you're gonna go to a place that I think your friend Marco Kirkholm knows all about. It's a black site, south of Langley, okay? That's where we're gonna go. We're gonna get some answers. We got a team in there. They're gonna take your brain. They're gonna wipe it so that you don't know what time is. Uh, he's gonna tell us everything. I'll tell you everything. It all started when I found About seven years ago when, uh, Dustin approached me about this movie idea. I, you know, I'd seen Sir Jonathan Hemingway, who of course plays uh, uh, Billy in this production. Um, I'd seen him. I'd seen him his stuff, and you know, he's just a class act, great actor. I myself just been coming off of a blockbuster film, and you know, I wasn't wasn't really into doing a, a low budget um, feature with sort of an unknown director, but. When Dustin came to me and he told me about this idea, about this idea of going back in time and um, mincing and mixing sort of eras, it, it, it really struck a chord with me and I think we made quite a film. You know, uh, coming in every day for seven years, it really a very uh, difficult period in my emotional lifestyle. Maintaining the Billy Buckington physique for seven years was very difficult, but I would do anything for cinema. You know, we were the first in Hollywood that were actually creating a film that we were using the same actors over seven years. Richard Stewart Linklater from uh, over at Boyhood, he heard through the grapevines about what we were planning. He had this television pilot about a boy who was in a distraught family and it, the pilot didn't really work out. It was thrown in some studio and he thought, you know what? What if we got all these actors back together and we continued the movie? So that's how Boyhood came along. We, we here at Sparkle Pursuit, we came up with the idea to use the same actors and he heard about it and actually did that with his film. I think that we really had a role in not just boyhood, but the entire movement of American cinema for generations to come with this.